Hello everyone. I welcome you again on this fascinating journey of learning research. This is the fifth video in the series of the language of research. Our topic for discussion is variables in research. So what is a variable? A variable is any entity that can take different values. Well, a variable is not a constant because constant always have one fixed value it never changes but variable ever changes so for example age is a variable because it can take different values you have elderly people belonging to elderly group you have different kinds of age group young ones adolescents adults right so age is a variable and uh, it is a numeric variable right because age is expressed in terms of numbers there are other categories of variable where you uh, which which are called qualitative variables for example gender is a variable because it has two text values it a person could be a male or could be a female so gender is a variable next important concept in variables is attributes what is an attribute an attribute is a specific value on variable so in the earlier example gender has two attributes male or female whereas the variable agreement might be defined as having five attributes from strongly disagree to strongly agree each option each option is an attribute okay so being male or female is attribute of the variable sex or gender we should also learn about two important traits of variable that should always be attempted to achieve that is exhaustiveness and mutual exclusivity when i say exhaustiveness each variable should be exhaustive meaning it should include all possible answerable response especially the researchers they have to be very very careful while giving an options the possible options many a times the questionnaires are poorly designed and they lack on exhaustiveness of variable so which uh, makes the study weak because you are not allowing all the in the you are not exploring the variable in its fullest sense right for example let's say um, you you want to know that the religious belief of a person in a survey and there are only four options so are there only four religion in this world the answer is no there are many so and if it is just like let's say hindu uh, muslims christians and let's say jews then this is not an exhaustive scale at least you have to add one more thing to it to make it exhaustive others if you do not want to if you want to club the rest of the religion in one category that would be like that okay so a variable should be exhaustive enough next is mutual exclusivity which means uh, you cannot have if you have opted for one it means you cannot opt for the other one at the same point of time you cannot say that my tummy is full and i am hungry at the same point of time these two things are mutually exclusive likewise um uh, you cannot say that uh, let's say it's i am inside my home and outside my home at the same point of time right so either you are in or out 
so that's to do with mutual exclusivity so these two traits of variables should be are attempted to be achieved but here is um, some catch in social research will discuss about mutual exclusivity but little later uh, a variable could be independent or it could be dependent this is very important a categorization that what you or the researcher himself or herself could manipulate or it could be manipulated or changed by nature so maybe the treatment or program which the researcher is trying to is administrate administering on the let's say a group of people he wants to know the effect of that treatment but at the same point of time let's say an education program let's say that treatment is education program and uh, some kind of training program uh, which has the researcher has control over that at the same point of time let's stress try to see the climatic condition or the weather the uh, weather was not so conducive or it was not so pleasant so it was very tiring so people would not be able to you know fully uh, be very much aware or very much available to the treatment or program that is given to them or offered to them because of the the environmental conditions might not might not be so conducive or complementary next is your dependent variable what you presume to be affected by independent variables which is your effects or outcomes so that is your dependent variable is reflected in your effects or outcomes so and and this whole story is from independent to dependent variable which we actually study but there are certain other variables like intervening variables or extraneous variables and but we will explore them more in future videos so let's there is this is a slide to ponder where uh, especially in social sciences research mutual exclusivity could be tricky for example you might say employment status has two attributes being employed or unemployed but what about the status of one who is employed yet finding an additional employment opportunity so yes if he has to identify himself he would identify himself with both so where so definitely this is something which is very important that sometimes at times it would be difficult to maintain this so in this video we discussed about variables we discussed about attributes independent and dependent variables quantitative and qualitative variables and two very important traits of variables exhaustiveness and mutual exclusivity so thank you very much and if you have not subscribed to our channel please do subscribe and we would love to hear from you anticipating your comments Thank you very much.